definitely doesn't do sweeping styling changes as the Virage's details are only mildly tweaked over the TV9 it's based on despite a completely different name. It's the filler in the range between the DB9 and DBS, though it's more chiseled than the DB9 and less extrovert than the DBS, which makes it the most visually appealing of the three cars. That's as true with this Volante drop top as it is the coupe. The open top model suits its slightly more contemporary lines and larger, multi-spoke alloys particularly well. As head turners go there's little to equal it, which is the point really. It might have lost its roof, and hence some stiffness compared to its coupe sibling, but the Virage Volante remains an involving, interesting and hugely enjoyable car to drive. Its balance is impressive, while the fitment of Aston Martin's adaptive damping system allows it to ride with real composure yet still offer fine body control. But quick. Light and precise steering delivers some feel too, while the electronic stability and traction system's thresholds are high enough to enjoy the Virage's performance without killing the fun too early. It's a beautifully judged all-rounder, that's as much GT as it is sports car. There might be a touch more weight in the Volante thanks to the folding roof, but it does little to blunt the performance. Power comes from a 6.0-litre V12 producing 490 bhp. That's enough to see the Virage Volante reach 62 miles per hour in 4.6 seconds and on to a top speed of 186 miles per hour. The slick 6-speed automatic shifts almost imperceptibly, except for the rousing change of engine note, all the better enjoyed with the roof down, rising up through its revs as the pace piles on. It's unlikely you'll ever find its performance lacking, and the Virage deals with its power very adeptly indeed.